only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed so please consider hitting that subscribe button it would help me a lot enjoy the video after making countless videos critiquing last day on earth and especially the developers kefir on issues like the decline of ldoe the lack of meaningful updates, and concerns that the game is turning into more of a cash grab than a true survival experience, I wanted to do something different today. Despite everything, I'm a fan of LDOE, just like you. I genuinely love this game, and I know many of you watching feel the same way. Over time, I've seen countless comments from players who are saddened by the current state of the game, hoping it will get back on track. We only want the best for it because we know how incredible this game can be. Sure, it's changed a lot over the years, but Last Day on Earth will always have a place in our hearts, and we'll keep playing until the very end. So today, I'm here to celebrate what makes LDOE great. This game once won the Most Innovative Game Award back in 2017 and built a huge supportive community. Content creators are still making videos, players are actively logging in daily, and this dedicated player base is proof that LDOE still holds a unique place in mobile gaming. So let's dive into why this game captured our hearts in the first place. One thing that stands out immediately is the beauty of the game itself. From the aesthetics to the interface, every detail is clean, simple, and unique which hooks players in right from the start. No other game quite compares to the look and feel of LDOE. Many games have tried to replicate its formula, but none have captured that special magic. Every time you log in, there's a feeling of excitement and adventure that's hard to find in other mobile games. The environments are thoughtfully crafted to immerse players in the post-apocalyptic world with atmospheric sound design, well-chosen music, and visuals that work together to create an amazing experience. This attention to detail is one of the reasons LDOE has remained so popular. Kefir put serious effort into making the game feel pleasant and immersive while still keeping it accessible and easy to navigate. Whether you're exploring a dangerous forest, sneaking through abandoned bunkers, or defending your base, LDOE has a way of drawing you in. Another element that sets LDOE apart is the unique concept of progression through specific locations. Instead of following a straightforward story, you're encouraged to explore different zones on the map to gather essential resources and progress in the game. This idea of a global map dotted with resource zones and your base at the center, along with the energy system for travel, was groundbreaking back in 2017. It's what won LDOE the Most Innovative Game Award, and other games took notice. Many tried to copy this format, but they just couldn't capture the depth and excitement of the original. These distinct locations, each with their own challenges and rewards, are what keep players coming back. Ask any LDOE player, and they'll tell you that clearing locations like Bunker Alpha, the police department, the farm, and the motel is one of their favorite parts of the game. Each spot is packed with a variety of challenges, from waves of zombies and hidden traps to rare loot that makes the risk worth taking. Take Bunker Alpha, for example, the pillar of last day on Earth. Despite being around for years, it's still a favorite because it's fun and challenging with amazing rewards at the end. And yes, there's the famous wall trick that everyone loves to use to make it even more exciting. So the game is beautiful, it's well made, and it has a unique gameplay concept. But why is the LDOE community so dedicated? What makes it so addictive? The answer is simple, the gameplay loop. LDOE is designed to keep you hooked, always encouraging you to clear another location, farm more resources, complete daily tasks, or raid other bases. There's a constant flow of things to do, so much so that time seems to fly by without you even noticing. You're always working towards something, whether it's crafting new items, upgrading your base, or simply surviving another day in the wasteland. And this brings us to the community. LDOE wouldn't be where it is today without its players. The community is the reason LDOE gained so much popularity early on, with players constantly helping each other, sharing tips, and creating guides on YouTube. This collaborative spirit is still strong. 
the official LDOE Discord server is always buzzing with activity, and there are still content creators making guides, sharing updates, and coming up with strategies. Without the dedication and support of this community, LDOE would have likely faded away long ago. Instead, it has grown into something special, a game that players feel personally connected to. For those of you watching who haven't tried Last Day on Earth yet, give it a shot. You won't regret it. Yes, I've made videos pointing out the game's flaws, like its decline and the devs' eye shift in focus. But LDOE is still incredibly fun and has so much to offer, especially for new players. There's a massive world to explore, and you'll find yourself drawn into its challenges and depth. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this look at the brighter side of LDOE. If you did, be sure to subscribe. Only 8% of my viewers are actually subscribed, and every new sub helps me bring you more content. Don't forget to like and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.